Hi guys, welcome back to Top Tips Graphics. It's me Ramis in front of you from Top Tips Graphics. So guys, after a short period of time, I am back to you with another new simple tips for the Adobe Illustrator users. So guys, today I'm going to share you how to save the Illustrator file or exporting the Illustrator file into an image format in a very easiest way. So I will here I will introduce the four way to save the vector file into JPEG, PNG or in any other image format. So let's go through the system. So first of all, here I'm opening the Adobe Illustrator software. Then let's open the vector file for converting into image format. Here I am opening the top tips logo in vector file. So here is our top tips logo. Then just select the logo with the selection tool. Now let's go through the file menu and select save option. Here you can select save or save as. But the fact is here you cannot find out the JPEG or any other image format in this option. Then what will we do for that solution? Here we have to choose the export options from the file menu as shown here. Before going through all these options, let's try the most simplest form for saving the illustrator file into image. But it's not the proper way. It's just my own idea which I have been using for my personal or official purpose. So I am just sharing you this idea with you guys. So if you like this one, just comment and take a thumbs up. So let's start. For that you have to select the vector designs in that file that you are going to save as image by using the selection tool. Then copy that vector by using the short key Ctrl C. Also you can copy by going through the edit menu and then click copy. Now here we copied the vector that we are going to save as JPEG format. Then you have to open the browser and then open the WhatsApp web page. Also guys, if you are not familiar with the using of WhatsApp in web browser, just search in YouTube and try to open the WhatsApp in web browser. Once you open the WhatsApp, take any your own contact or any other temporary contact and just click over the touching area. Now you can paste that copied vector to this page as JPEG image by the usual short key Ctrl V or by right click the mouse button and select paste. So guys, here you can see the image of that vector is created in a very easiest way. Then just send this image to that contact for downloading. For downloading that image, just click over this menu bar and download. So here you get that image in your system. Here I am just copy that image from download folder to desktop by the usual copy paste method. Then let's open that image and make a look how is it. And if you zoom in the picture and look, you can see that the resolution of that image is less. That means by using this process of image making, we cannot get a high resoluted image. But if you need just a low resoluted image, this easiest method is enough. Now let's see the second method of saving the illustrator file as JPEG format or in any other image format. This is the most common and professional way of exporting the file into image format. For that, just go to the file menu. Here you can see that export option. Here you can see many other sub option also, but just select the export as option. Then here you will get this window options for saving the file. Here you can add the name of the file. Here I just touched the name of the file as top tips JPEG. And under that there is an option for selecting the file format that we are going to export. Here you will get all the image format like PNG, JPEG, etc. Now just for showing you the sample, let's select the JPEG format. Then just to select the export, here you will get the JPEG options as shown here. Now here you can customize the settings of the JPEG file that we are going to export. Here you can select the color model as CMYK or RGB. You can adjust the quality of image and many more other options as shown here. Especially the main settings on this method is that we can select the resolution of the image. Here you can see 72 ppi up to 300 ppi. Also you can select the other for the customized resolution of the image. 
Here I am just selecting the other and make the image up to 400 ppi and just press ok. So the image is exported to desktop. Let's make a look how easy. If you open the image and zoom in to that you can see that the resolution of the image is with high resolution as per our settings. Now let's see how to convert the complete artboard into image format by using the same method. That is the one we did now it's just the logo only converted to JPEG format. For that just go through the export menu and export as as we did before. And once you get this window option here you can see an additional option. Use artboards just click over that. So the entire artboard will be converted into JPEG format. Also here I am just changing the name top tips artboard for recognizing the file. Then press export here you will get the JPEG options as we did before. You can customize the settings as per your wish then press ok. Now let's go to the dashboard. Here you can see that the vector is converted to JPEG with the complete artboard. You can see the difference in between these both images. By using the same method we can convert the vector file into many other image format also. For example here I will show you how it's coming over the PNG format. So just to select the export as option as we did before. Once you get the export option here you can save as type. You can select the save as type as PNG. And if you press export here you will get the export PNG op settings. From here you can change the background color into white, black or any transparent. Here I am just selecting the transparent. Also you can adjust the resolution of the image. Here I am just choosing the 300 ppa and just press ok. Now let's look at the exported PNG file in the desktop. So just to open the desktop. Here you can see the it's a PNG format with the transparent background. Just to show you the transparency of the image, I am just opening the image in the illustrator. You can see here the transparency of the images. I mean the background of the logo is transparent as per the PNG format. Here we completed the common type of exporting the vector file into JPEG or PNG format. So now let's go through the third method of exporting the Im vector file to image format. For showing you the third method of exporting the vector file to image, we need different groups of object in the file. So here I am just ungrouping the file into logo and text separately. Also let's make another group of logo separately as shown here. So here you get three group of objects or three group of design as shown here. Now by using this third method we can create multi images from single file in a multiple number of different image format. Don't get confused. I will show you clearly. Once we created the different groups, just to go for the export menu from the file menu and here select the export for screen. So the export for screen windows will be appear. Here there will be many advanced options for exporting the image. If you select the artboards, you can create the complete artboards into image. But here I am selecting the assets then select the assets export panel. So a new panel will be appears as shown here. Also you can choose the assets exports panel from the windows menu as shown here. Now just to select the all the designs from the artboard and drag to the assets exports panel. Here you can see that the different assets is created as per the number of the separate groups of objects in the file or in the designs. Also here we can change the rename the names of the each assets as per the designs. Here I rename into graphics, logo and top tips. Also we can export these assets to image directly from this panel but I am just closing this and go to the export for screen for getting the advanced option as shown here. So here you can see that the assets or the group of designs that we have created in the assets panels appears in this export for screen panel. Now let's go for the advanced options. First of all let's mark the all the assets in the panel. From here you can choose the folder that we are going to export the images. 
so here I am just creating a folder in the desktop as top tips images this is the main portion of the exports for screens. Here you can choose different format of images in different sizes and different quantity in advanced options. For an example, here I choose the first two options with the scale or the sizes as 1 into that means the original sizes and the format into PNG format. And for the second option, here I choose the width dimension as 200 bits. And I say, uh, rename the suffix as 200 bits. And also the format as JPEG as shown here. And if you want to add an additional options with the different scales and different format, just press the add scale option. So here we totally make the three different type of format and with the three different scales as shown here. Also let's uh, touch to the prefix as top tips. Also there's uh, options for selecting the assets that we need to export. Here I'm just selecting all the assets. After that just export asset. Now here you can see the final result of the export for screen in different folder as per the different scale of the images. On opening the first folder, you can see here the three different images of three groups in PNG format with the transparent background in a scale of original sizes as per our settings. In the same way on opening the second folder with the name 3H, you can see the same three images in JPEG format with the scale three times bigger than the original size as shown here as per our settings. In the same way, if you are opening the third folder, you can see the images of 200 pixel width in JPEG format. So guys, I hope that you understand the advanced method of exporting the file to images clearly. If you have any doubt, don't hesitate to keep a comment in the comment box. This is the final method of exporting the vector file to image format. It's almost the same method that we followed in the export as method. So let's go through that. As usual, go to the file menu and export. Then save for web. So here you will get this panel. It's actually using for the images for website creation. Here you can choose the format such as PNG, JPEG, GIF, whatever the image format that you are here using in the website. Also by using this preview option, you can see the HTML codes or scripts details of this, that image. So just we can press the save for saving that vector file to image file for using for the website purposes. So guys, here I explained all the method of converting the vector file to image format from the easiest method to the advanced level. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe our channel and press bell icon for getting the latest notification. Thank you.